Hello friends. So let us define the work. Suppose that a force F, force is a vector quantity, is applied on a body of mass m. The body which is at initially rest position. Now the body, because of the applied force F, displaces through infinitesimal small displacement ds. ds is the displacement of the body because of the applied force F. It is infinitesimal small force in a direction of the applied force. Of course. body will move in a direction of applied force then small work is done that is dw equals to force multiplied by displacement ds so if you calculate a finite work done we'll have to integrate this integration dw equals to integration of f into ds So here, W equals to integration of F ds is called as work done. Unit of work done is newton meter. Where this ds is the small displacement of the body in the direction of applied force second definition is power now what is power rate of doing work is called as power now this is the rate therefore power p equals to dw by dt this is the rate of change of work d by dt of work so this is equals to we know that work done equals to the force multiplied by displacement so here force into ds by dt but this term we are very familiar with this term that is rate of change of velocity so here f dot f bar dot v bar the si unit of power is joule per second sometime it is called as watt now equation of kinetic energy so kinetic energy is denoted by k dot e kinetic energy this is equals to half time m v square m is the mass of body v is the velocity of the body then equation of potential energy pe so potential energy pe equals to m g into h where m is mass of the particle body or particle g is acceleration due to gravity
एच इज हाइट ऑफ द पार्टिकल अब रेफरेंस लाइन और रेफरेंस प्लेन both this kinetic energy as well as potential energy is the form of energy now this kinetic energy is because of the velocity of the particle the particle is moving with certain velocity it causes kinetic energy suppose particle has a certain height and it is freely falling then the gravitational force acts on the particle and the potential energy is given by एम जी एच हाउ वर्क एनर्जी प्रिंसिपल द स्टेटमेंट ऑफ वर्क एनर्जी प्रिंसिपल इज work done by a force in displacing a body is equal to is equal to the change in kinetic energy of the body this is the work energy principle we know that suppose the force is applied on a body of mass the body which is at initially at rest position the body now displays a small displacement in a direction of the force then work done equals to force into displacement that is equals to fds equation 1 according to the newton's second law of motion we have a relation f equals to mass into acceleration where a is the acceleration produced in a direction of the force now from equation 1 and 2 dw equals to the value of force f equals to ma therefore simplifying the equation dw equals to m dv by dt ds where dv by dt is the acceleration of the particle now we know that according to the newton's second law f equals to ma so from equation 1 that is work done equals to the force into displacement and 2 i will put down the value of force f equals to ma in equation 1 so dw equals to mass into acceleration into displacement but see this term acceleration it is a rate of change of velocity so we'll replace that acceleration term by rate of change of velocity a equals to dv by dt so here dw equals to mass dv by dt into displacement ds but you know that so simplify again this equation dw equals to mass ds by dt into dv 
now this term we are also familiar with this term rate of change of displacement is an instantaneous velocity ds by dt equals to v is an instantaneous velocity so replacing this term ds by dt equals to v v into dv equation 3 so work done equals to the mass of a body velocity into dv now if you want to find out total work done you know that velocity is increases from initial velocity to the final velocity and we have to integrate this equation to calculate total work done therefore total work done to increase a velocity velocity from initial velocity to final velocity that is u to v can be find out by integrating equation 3 so w equals to u to v dw where u is initial velocity v is final velocity therefore putting the value of dw from equation 3 w equals to integration u to v mv dv so mass is common over here m integration u to v v dv so integration of v dv is v square by 2 mass v square by 2 u to v so what i am getting half time mass v square minus u square therefore total work done equals to half time mv square minus half time m u square equation 4 so equation 4 indicate that work done on a body by the force is equal to the change in kinetic energy here see change in kinetic energy so when body reaches to the certain position having velocity v that is final velocity and u so half mv square minus half mu square is a change in kinetic energy so we can write here from equation 4 work done on a body by a force is equal to change in its kinetic energy and this principle is called as work energy principle thank you